everyone, welcome back. So as you can see, we have plated the delicious vegetarian chili that we served earlier. And I've got my girls here. Hi, hey. guys. Hi. <laughs> so happy to have them here. So we're going to dig into this. But as we do, you know, we're going to talk about some of the things that are very important to us right now. So we know right. that one of the newest <laughs> uh -oh. hashtag movements it's is Me Too. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> How many so, of us can say that at this table? Whoa. Yeah, I, I think every woman. Yeah, every, every woman, woman can say that. Because no matter, and some men, of course. Right, right, right. Because right. it, it, yeah, it yeah. doesn't necessarily have to be like, I was raped. Like, yeah. women are constantly and always have been subjected to some sort of, whether it's, you know, cat call on the sure. street. Yeah. 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 Or just like, yes. we're taught to kind of normalize. Yeah, yes. And, um, what was it? We're supposed to be comfortable mm -hmm. and just kind of like ignore discomfort mm, yes. whereas now it's like we're talking about it um some people would argue that like, they're like oh yeah but how far is too far and right. it's like oh. i don't know how far I don't know. is too far consent is sexy yeah. so like let's just get yeah. over it why mm. you know why are you ever wanting to have sex with somebody who doesn't want to have sex with you Alcohol. to me yeah i mean but really like at the end of the day i think about it you know if i'm gonna be with somebody it's for me it's the biggest turn on if they're into me you mm -hmm. know if they want that from me and if they yeah. don't i would never see a point to like want to pursue that and so i think mm -hmm. it's it's we're at this time where men and women are kind of we're not understanding each other and I mean, a lot of different groups too. I think we see this in a lot of places, Republicans and Democrats, I mean, Trump and immigrants. I mean, right. we're seeing yeah. a lot of different categorically, you know, different people just kind of butting heads. And, you know, it's it's kind of unfortunate, but at the same time, I think we're at a place where we could really grow in these moments. And um, when we start listening to each other, I think is when we're gonna make some progress, you know? Uh, well, and also when it comes to the Me Too, mo Me Too movement and, mm -hmm. and why things happen and, you know, people not giving consent, things like that right. nature. It's about power. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. sexual assault, all of that, sexual harassment has always been about power. It's mm -hmm. not right. been about, oh, do you want to be yeah. with me? Right. No, it's about, yeah, it's right. about exercising They don't care power. about the answer. Right. 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 It's not exactly. it's exercising your power on it's someone. It's just unfortunate. So, yeah. I think it's, uh, a lot of education needs to be, yeah, right, to totally. be done. Um, At least the conversation yeah. is. At least it's starting. That's a start. That's yeah. a start. Yeah. Yeah, By the way, this is so good. Yes. Thank you. It is a discussion. Yes. Yes. So nice. I'm a spicy. Yeah. I'm a spicy girl. I love mm -hmm. it. It's so it's quick really right. and low mm -hmm. cal. <laughs> it's delicious. It's healthy. Thank you. Thank you guys very I'm much. <laughs> well, um, have you guys ever experienced or know anyone close to you that has experienced, um, you know, something close to the Me Too movement, being sexually harassed, being you know, whether it's like touching or verbal. Or you, further. Yeah, mm -hmm. or further. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I can, uh, I, I count beyond the fingers how many oh, yeah. actually like rape victims I know. They said, I think it's like one in every four women is like sexually assaulted going beyond harassment. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think that was what it was the last time I read it. Mm -hmm. And I think then you have to think, but that's the people maybe who are speaking out about it. Mm -hmm. And it's probably more. Um, but yeah, I actually, a lot of my close friends have been, you know, very, uh, you know, I don't know, very, yeah, assaulted or harassed or raped. And of course, that's not something you ever say who it was and whatever. But I think as, as women, when a friend does finally tell you something like that, that that happened to them, you just, you see, um, I don't know, you just pull back the layers of, of wow, oh my gosh, this happened to her too mm -hmm. and her too. And then right. and that's when it gets into me too and whatever. Absolutely. And, um, I mean, I can I can only speak for myself, but I have definitely been sexually harassed and assaulted. Um, I mean, I don't need to go into it at, at right. length, but and also I would say other scenarios and other things other people have gone through is much worse than mine. Like I know what I went through and I've come to peace with what has happened to me, but I also know it's steps, everybody's different. Some people have had horrible, it's that next level experience, traumatic, yes. and it's, it's very hard to recover from. And, Absolutely. Um, so I think it just, it depends on every woman and what they're willing to share, but I think a lot of women don't say anything because of that, it's my fault or I'm embarrassed. And you even notice that too, They, they all, women always question, did it? Did this happen because of something I did in the night yeah, or something I, I right? And you're, 
as a friend, you're like, you did nothing wrong, you know? Yes. You were verbal about you, how you didn't want this, you did everything you could, and of yes. course, you were overpowered, and that is unfortunate. I had a boss who stared at my boobs all the time. Oh, God. <laughs> but I think he just couldn't help it. <laughs> you're just too hot. <laughs> no, <laughs> men, men, like, can't not look, but that's neither here nor there. No, he never tried anything with me. Well, well, that's good. I did have a <clears throat> situation when I was in my early 20s living in Nashville, but actually before I moved here. Mm, I was working with an engineering firm. Oh, gosh. I was a drafter and my, my boss, he sexually harassed me. Oh. I was scared to come to work. Oh, um, man. Because he would always want me to go to lunch and when it worked, going, going to his office and want to, you know, bring him some drawings or whatever, he'd like close the door, you know, and mm. he took me a bunch a few times and once it was pretty intense and I was like, all right, gotta get out of this truck. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Um, but I did have to end up filing charges against him. And um, his boss from Alabama, um, a lady, the human resources lady from another state came, you know, was, they, did, they did it on my last day, did a, in the form of an exit interview because they knew I didn't want to really deal with it, you yeah. know, because he was my direct supervisor. Right. So it was it was pretty intense. Yeah, you know. I'm but sorry that happened to you, but I'm glad too. you got yourself out of that yes. unhealthy yes. workspace yeah. situation. Yeah. Seriously, that's Absolutely. the takeaway: is yeah. always speak up. Wow, that's incredible. I think what's also so unfortunate too about it is, you know, she, she wasn't the one who was initiating the harassment. He was, but yet she was the one who had to exit, had to leave the company right. in course. order to feel safe. You know, it just yeah. feels so... Well, that's a woman's uh, place, what usually, to her, right? You know, I don't know exactly. Get get fired, fortunately, or? I was moving to LA. That's right. you I was out. already leaving. So you were already in the So just I had shared it with someone in the company. She was like, I have to report this. And I, and I you know, I was in my early 20s. I didn't really know much about right. this type of thing. I was just trying to get through it. And, get moved you know yes. <laughs> it's just like the job i was, had at the time to make the money to go ahead and get moved to la mm -hmm. so she said she had to report it and i was like what oh my god no 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 you know i just didn't right. want to mess up my situation at the time i needed to make that money and leave you know i, right. I would leave early for lunch so he wouldn't you know i would just do the best i could to avoid the situation okay. um i know that when i did leave um they had some other folks come up from another um uh, part of the company that had I guess they, I def, they definitely reprimanded him. Mm -hmm. um, his boss actually was the one was you know he was very nice to me. He said, "Well, I'll give you a reference whenever you need one. Just you know, give me give them my contact information." Mm -hmm. um, I did stay in touch with a couple people that I worked with, mm -hmm. and they said, "Oh yeah, it's kind of really weird around here today." You know, so they were they were questioned questioned okay. as well because they knew something was going on. You know, so I don't know exactly what the outcome was, but I know it was dealt with. Okay. And I moved to LA and I didn't want to think about it anymore, you know. So yeah. fired you gotta leave it in the Because you know he was doing it to other people probably, probably. too. But you right. he had gotten away with it before. Yeah. yeah and he sure. was you know, mm -hmm. that's what they do. Right. Yeah. I think it's Predators. just great that you removed yourself in general. Absolutely. I mean that's Oh, I was happy to be gone. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Um, may I ask, was he what his um uh, race was? What his name was? He was white guy. Of course. Mm. I was probably the only black in the company, I think, actually, oh. to be honest. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. Mm -hmm.